are the gals from Animal House. And we've talked to you some about Animal House. You may have seen posts on Facebook. You may have seen some of the things they've been doing. These gals have been in rescue and film for a long time. And they put their two talents together to come up with a special show, a reality concept. I'm gonna let them talk about it, but we have we've been hoping that they might have some special news for us. And I wanted to get um, Darren and Nancy and Rhonda. Are they gonna come on up here? Come on up, Rhonda. I want you to meet Ron. You met me, Edie Say, maybe not in person, but <laughs> we've talked a few times. This is Rhonda Churchwell, our other chapter manager, and there's Nancy McConville, our three chapter managers, and Darren is somewhere. Darren, Darren, say hey. He is our chair of our board, and um, Julie is on our board, and um, John's not here, but we'll say hey to John too. So I wanted you to meet all of the team, but these are all of the wonderful members and volunteers and supporters that have brought us to this. And I want you to hear this announcement from these very, very special guests. Okay, I'm gonna give them the microphone. Hello everybody, we're so glad that you're out to um, spend some time with the Georgia House Rabbit Society Day and support them. And Rebecca's gonna tell you a little bit about us. Um, for those of you who don't know, Animal House is a television show that we developed. It's like Extreme Makeover Home Edition, but for animal shelters. And uh, when we uh, we kind of did a grassroots effort to you know to get gather some steam and gather some support for the show, and Georgia House Rabbit Society actually applied to be um, to be on the show. And so we've kind of gone back and forth, and we have had over 200 organizations that have actually submitted um, to, to submitted to the show for help. And um, and we've you know we've been kind of talking with Edie, going back and forth, and she invited us to drop by today and, and see all the great people that come out to support her organization. So we're we're it's wonderful to see everybody. And you know we've. Um, done a lot of research and, and um, found out a lot of information about the Georgia House Rabbit Society and they are a shining example of organizations that are helping animals. What they have done is phenomenal. Um, they've been very successful. They've got a lot of support. Um, they're, they're filling a very important um, niche for rabbits. There's um, not as much awareness and information out there about rabbits, um, you know, being the third most euthanized animals in shelters and the majority of, of the United States does, isn't aware of this issue and so they are doing a very, very important service to all of, you know, to this community and to educating people all over the United States and helping rabbits. And so, um, but we wanted to announce to all of you guys, and you know, we've been talking to Edie, but we, we have selected the Georgia House Rabbit Society to be in our, our first season. <laughs> Or any animal audience. So yeah, we're excited. We're excited. We're excited. We're excited. We're excited. We're excited. Do you guys? Did anybody have questions? Uh, questions? Anyone? Shoot, they're taking questions. Any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Do you want to know what this is about? Yeah. yeah. How is it going? Yeah. Yes. 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 Ask away. Yes. 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 Okay, so um, we're just gearing up to shoot our pilot episode of, um, of Animal House. The, the pilot episode is going to be um, the, the, uh, the completion build of an animal shelter that burned down in 2009 in Othello, Washington. And as soon as we're done with that pilot episode, then we have several networks that are interested in actually buying the show. So as soon as that pilot's finished, we're going to lock a home for the show, and then we're going to be, uh, you're probably, I, we're, we're suspecting that George House Rabbit Society will either be our second or our third episode. And once we finish the pilot, it's going to go really fast. So I suspect that we'll be down there before the end of the year. guys 
to keep supporting them and yes. keep letting them do the good work and they're going to need continued support after we go so you guys are really important part of their success and we thank you for that you really are it's so it, and what we do is we come in and we help give them some of the tools that they need to be more successful than they are but it's at the end of the day it's all of you it's all of the people that show up that make the difference because you can take a whole bunch of supplies and tools and all kinds of things and you set them on the table and they won't do anything it requires it requires people like you who love animals and see the importance of supporting this great organization to actually make it all work so please Keep showing up, keep volunteering, keep supporting them, and when we get down there, we're gonna we'll provide and we're counting on you guys. I said you're a great example for the uh, people all over the place to do exactly what you guys are doing there. Yeah. Wonderful. Can you tell them a little bit about what's going to happen? Yeah. Can you tell them a little bit about what is going to happen? Well, the, well, we, we can't give everything away because we're going to be done with surprises. Um, but the, the one thing that, uh, we, that Georgia Half Rabbit Society needed is they needed a renovation and um, uh, and to add some different uh, habitats on the property. And what we'll do is we'll come down probably in the next couple of months and we'll go through and get a lay of the land and then we'll engage some architects and some designers and, and you know just design some really amazing things and then just come down and you know just build surprises and we want this to be a great bunny habitat which they've already done a good job but we want to help them improve upon that and a great place for people to come and visit and adopt adopt these rabbits and, and add them to their families one of the things um, is going to be dependent upon um, our local community supporting this show and coming out and, and volunteering etc and spreading the word um, am I are you hearing me? <laughs> and I, I've already. Oh, sorry. And we're going to plan on lots of volunteers from your area to come out and help us make it happen. And I just wanted to mention we have one here today that has already stepped up to the plate to volunteer. Our vet, Dr. Stuart Colby. And he's I don't know. Here he with the medical thing, so, yeah. just thought we would acknowledge that, so, thank you. I, any other questions? Anyone? We'll, we'll keep them going, we'll, we'll be putting those press releases out, and getting the support, and building it, and you let us know what we can do for you, too, at all steps of the way. Center. And we knew when all of us got together and put our blood, sweat, and tears into it that if we built it, they would come. And it was a work of love, a work of truly blood, sweat, and tears for all of the volunteers. And now, none of us ever believed that this could happen. This truly is like we have won the bunny lottery. A lot of things are going to happen. It's going to be intense. It's going to be amazing, and we are going to need you. Just as Alicia and Rebecca said, your support is going to get us through this. And at the end, it's going to be fantastic. But thank you all for coming out, and stay tuned. Make sure you are on our Facebook page, on our website, and that you are signed up for our e-constant contact, because that's how we're going to be telling you everything that's happening. Thanks.